Hi, uh, my name is Christina Juan, and I'm very happy to introduce this next film. Uh, this film is one of five um, early documentaries uh, that Philippine Studies at SOAS has been able to acquire from the British uh, Film Institute in London. Um, this film was released in 1929 and is a very good example of what Nick Diocampo would um, call the American turn in early uh, Philippine cinema. Uh, this film was shot by a famous uh, documentary filmmaker, Merle Lavoie, and uh, he was an American but worked for Pathé News uh, in Europe. In 1920, he went around uh, Asia, and um, including the Philippines, and um, shot several documentaries. Um, um, what is interesting about this film is that um, it has a very stated, uh, directly stated purpose. Um, it was produced by the Leonard Wood Foundation and was uh, for the use of the Philippine Health Service. Um, you can see that in the uh, bilingual intertitles um, at the beginning of the film. And um, if you know, Culion as a leper colony was established uh, by the Americans in 1901. And with it came a very uh, strict um, policy of isolation uh, there were these um, leper collection trips that happened all over the Philippines, um, gathering people and basically forcing them into exile into these islands. And so you can see this film as a way to um, uh, sell uh, living in Culion. Um, it's a very idealized uh, film. Uh, there's a means of livelihood, for example, and there are happy children. Um, there is um, a lot... Um, industry and they had their own currency so it was in a sense kind of an ideal colony um, now aside from this purpose of um, as an ad or as a propaganda film it also had a, a kind of transnational audience um, the Leonard Wood Foundation um, was established um, in honor of Leonard Wood he if you know uh, had was a governor general to the Philippines in um, 1921 and um, and because he was a medical doctor perhaps he had a, a very um, a very focused attention on the public health system in the Philippines and so um, from 1925 to 31 uh, there was a five-year campaign anti-leprosy campaign and in this campaign, there was a very clear move towards not just the isolation policies for lepers, uh, but also a more um, uh, geared towards uh, finding a treatment for leprosy and for um, um, eventual reintegration into uh, Philippine society for those who had tested negative. So um, uh, it's interesting to see that this film was um, used also as a fundraising uh, uh, tool. Uh, it was toured around um, Europe and as well as in America. And we have several instances of um, um, uh, records in 1931, for example, in the New York Times, you, you see there is a dinner that was um, put in place for uh, raising funds for the campaign. Um, as you know, Leonard Wood died in 1927, and um, this um, anti-leprosy campaign was renamed in his honor as the Leonard Wood Foundation. Now, this film is 23 minutes. It came in two reels. One was like the unedited reel, and this one is the more edited one, but it's very, very damaged. It's about a third of the film is actually has nitrate blooms, and you can't really see a lot. But... Um, what you do see is a very uh, kind of representative example of how film was used as propaganda um, in, in the early parts of um, American colonization in the Philippines. So with, without much ado, um, uh, enjoy the film.